Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes and how to express neutrality about different topics. Similar to our previous class, you'll learn how to do the same thing, but now the only difference is that the expressions will start with the pronoun it. Um, opposite from what we did previously, which was that we mentioned I don't mind it, I like it. Um, in this class, you'll learn how to start sentences with it makes me happy. So, for example, it makes me happy when people do nice things for no reason. That's um, expressing something that you enjoy. Um, also, you can express things that you're neutral about. For example, it doesn't bother me when people speak loud. And, of course, we want to learn how to express things that uh, bother you. It bothers me when people lie. That's a quick example of that. So the first thing that we should learn, similar to our previous class, is some key vocabulary that's going to help us express this kind of sentences. So here's a quick example of that. Uh, for positive sentences, we want to use expressions such as, it makes me happy. When you want to express neutrality about something, then we will use expressions such as, it doesn't bother me. And when you want to express negative statements, and then you want to use the following expressions such as it bothers me, it annoys me, it upsets me. So let me present the structure at this point. We have clauses beginning with it. As you can see the way that this is formed is first of all we have the pronoun it um, or, and then uh, this is followed by a verb and after that we are going to have an object in this case is me. So and, and of course there, there will be some sort of complement. So here's a quick example. It makes me happy. That will be our example. Uh, and then it follows the adverbial clause with when. So we have when plus the subject plus the verb. So when and then the subject is people. Um, and then the verb in this case is do and complement nice things for no reason. So this could um, make you happy. And if we go back to our vocabulary, it, could, it, it can also bother you, right? it could annoy you, it could upset you, right? So we can change that expression to whatever we like. So this could be positive, this could be negative. It makes me happy. Um, uh, maybe it bothers you, it bothers me. Maybe it annoys you. It's just different ways that we're expressing the same thing. But pretty much that's the pattern that we're going to see and the pattern that we're going to follow. So. Let's think about different situations. Let's let's think about the things that bother you, uh, the things that you like. So, um, what kind of things do you like when you are um, at the movie theater, right? What kind of things bother you when you are at the movie theater? Let's think about that specific scenario, and let's try to come up with different things. Uh, so, in my case, it bothers me. I'm using the structure there, as you can see. Um, and then the adverbial clause when people answer their cell phone inside the movie theater, right? We want to keep that context as I had mentioned there, right? Because you cannot um, you cannot pay attention to what's happening uh, at the movie. Um, that will be one that most of us can relate to. Um, maybe another one, it um, upsets me when people talk loud, uh, and I could add here during a movie. Uh, maybe it annoys me when a child cries um, at a public place. Um, and then again, these are just uh, a few examples on how you use this topic. But one thing you should learn is that a particular structure is follow, right? Um, as you can see, we, we, we're we going to have the pronoun it at the very beginning. Uh, then it's going to be followed by the verb. And then there's always going to be some sort of object. The object can change. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be someone else. So for example, uh, it bothers him when people answer their cell phone inside the, uh, inside the movie theater or it bothers 
um, her or it bothers whomever, right? It bothers my wife, it bothers my uh, my friend. When people answer the cell phone inside the movie, there, so the, the object could change to whatever, uh, it depending depending on the situation. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to post uh, a lot of different situations. And then what I would like for you to do is to try to figure out if that is something that you like or if that's a situation that you dislike or if you are neutral about that situation. Uh, and then practice this idea that we learned in this lesson and also in our previous lesson.